Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we are going to take a look at and uh, see what their silence means. So if you're going through a no contact, no communication period or if they're giving you the silent treatment, you know, what's the meaning behind it all? This is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're, um, interest, if you're interested in a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Um, Alright guys, otherwise let's go ahead and let's begin and see, you know, what their silence is communicating here. Some of you may be receiving com communication, con you'll be in contact or you'll receive some sort of information about your special person. Could be 9 to 10 days, could be weeks as well, hopefully it's not 9 to 10 months for some of you though it could be. Um, something that's going to make things right or put things into perspective or some sort of truth is going to be spoken by them or from another source. I also see that it, it could be within 9 to 10, did I say 9 to 10 hours? Or it could be a reference to a time frame as well, 9, 10 a.m. or p.m. So look out for those numbers. Okay, below you've got the death card here. So some of you I feel like are going through a period of transitioning, okay, the death card ushers in a very transformative type of energy all right so we want to know what their silence really means your person is hurting I can see that your person is hurting and they're unable to communicate that with you um, and if you guys have recently broke up if, you, if you've ended your connection if you're in a separation or a disconnection or a discord with one another they're not at peace with that they're not comfortable with that but it's, they're not vocalizing, they're not communicating that to you. Instead, I feel like they're really holding it to themselves. I feel like they're really overwhelmed with what's going on. And maybe that's why they're unable to speak or communicate here. They're just not able to sort of, you know, um, coherently um, express what it is that they're feeling. Just because someone stays silent, it doesn't mean that they're ignoring you. It doesn't mean that they're not feeling at all that they're not feeling anything at all, it doesn't mean that they don't have a message for you. In fact, a lot of the times it's in reverse, you know, it, there's this reverse psychology that's going on here. It, it's it's their way, I feel like, of trying to reach out and connect with you, like really connect with you on a soul level. It's their way of trying to get you to notice that, hey, something is wrong, you know, they're not their usual self here. So, you know, silence doesn't always necessarily mean there's no um, message However, even though they're staying silent, it feels like you're responding to this and you're listening. And it feels like sometimes you don't need words to express. Here's the thing. Sometimes you don't need to, words to express what you're feeling or what's happening in your situation. Sometimes, you know, silence does the talking for you. And this is what's happening here. I feel like they're going through, they're scared. They're, so if you're not communicating with this person, um, they're worried, okay, because they don't know what you're thinking. They don't know what's going on with you and if they're stay, staying silent and if you're not reaching out or responding to their silence reacting to this, it worries them. It worries them, it frightens them, it scares them because they feel as though maybe you're disconnecting further and further away and they kind of, they're worried, they're anxious because they feel like they maybe have pushed you or driven you away here. So. It, to me, it feels like 
the silence here is speaking very loudly it is i feel like this there's something going on with your person they care for you so just because they're not communicating with you doesn't mean that they've stopped having feelings for you or that they've forgotten about you i feel like it, it's a little bit strategic in a sense because i feel like they're trying to achieve something i feel like it's kind of they're kind of like using silence as a way to uh to like leverage and get results here To me, it feels like you being on the receiving end, you're waiting for communication from this person, right? You're waiting for communication and you've been waiting from contact or communication from this person for a while now, but all you have is silence, you know, um, absence of their words, just complete silence. And some of you are taking it as a final answer or you're taking it as an answer of some sort. And maybe that's because you think... Because they're staying silent, they want to end things with you. I feel like your person is going through some things. I also feel like they're hurting. They just don't know how to express it. And also, it feels like what you've had was something very concrete, very stable, very... Um, it was very... I can see that they were very committed to you. And I feel like they still are. They definitely still care about you. I feel like your person is also someone who, you know, has romanticized you and has really romanticized what the two of you have. So you, them experiencing the slippage away from you, it, it scares them because they feel like they're going to lose you. But I feel like there's something going on with them. I feel like they're going through something. It just feels like they're really... There's something going on internally is what it seems. And it feels like they're a little bit confused maybe or they just don't know... Something has shifted here, and I don't know if it's because it's shifted for you, because you feel differently here, because of the current situation, or because they feel differently here. I also feel like they're very upset or very worried, or they're overthinking or overanalyzing the situation, because they feel like things are just falling apart. Maybe it started with something little, but then it kind of just really blew up. They do feel that they they do want to co contact and communicate with you i do feel like this is someone who is thinking about doing that or will just happen to do that uh quite impulsively here but i feel like i feel like there's a very frightened energy with them they don't know how to speak up because i feel like they don't have the words to communicate what they're really going through i feel like they are going through some um they're going through some a phase of some sort it feels like some there is some insecurities that i feel like they're harboring to be honest with you and those insecurities are what's causing some sort of blockage in your energies it's what's also preventing them from coming forward when justice shows up it reminds us that we you know the truth is when the truth as we know it is just our perception of it okay it's not it's a truth according to us so i don't feel like you know the whole truth i don't think you know what's really going on with them and i don't think like your person is communicating i feel like your person has trust issues maybe they don't feel comfortable opening up and telling you you know sharing with you what's really going on maybe they i don't know it just feels like they're very in withdrawn it into themselves but i do feel like your person is committed to you i do feel like they care and i see them if they're not communicating now i definitely see that they will be communicating in the future here in fact they're coming in with a very emotional message a love offer a message an apology or a very um very endearing like a romantic gesture of some sort it, it just feels like there's going to be a shift you will go from no contact no communication to suddenly a lot of contact, a lot of communication and a truth being spoken, an apology, an explanation, um, a truth, just a lot of raw, honest, transparent energy to this communication is coming in. So this is why I feel like either the shift has taken place or will take place, but they're coming in with something here that they want to it's something that I feel like you're going to respond to emotionally. It could drive you to tears. It could move you to tears. Um, you could just be like really emotional hearing from them. Or it's something that they say. They may tell you that they love you and that they're sorry and that they want to work on things. Um, and, you know, that they've never truly stopped caring for you. But I feel like 
like I know it's hard for you not to personalize this because obviously you know you're personally involved with this person I get it but it feels like it's not all about you I know it just feels like there's something going on with their energy but I don't know that this person is sharing that with you like it could be that you're just going through something like it could be like a midlife crisis it could just be some you know emotional trauma it just could be you know some family issues it feels like something's going on with them and because they're so distracted you know they can't give you or the relationship or the connection the energy both mental emotional physical that it requires so that's why i feel like your relationship with them has suffered as a result because not that they are being dishonest with you or were being dishonest with you i just don't know that this person you know was able to really communicate what they were feeling because i feel like they themselves are struggling to express that but there you have it their silence is definitely speaking volumes and looks like you're really listening here and you're really responding to it Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. That is bye for now.